Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The other day I was just researching some random stuff for another video and I came across a few different articles that were going through really weird sort of everyday items that you can use to blend coloured pencils. And it just got me thinking because these things were quite bizarre to me. It got me thinking what other things can you use to blend coloured pencils. I've came up with a list of things that I really want to try out that I think will probably work and we're going to go and get these supplies and test them all out and find out which is our favourite for blending coloured pencils. we're going to be trying out is extra virgin olive oil just olive oil and oils are meant to be quite good we've got a few oils here to blend the color pencils when I was like doing the research a lot of different oils were coming up I've also got coconut oil which is another oil that kept coming up in lots of different articles so hopefully I'm feeling like the ones that kept popping up probably work the best our next item is a really out there sort of supply and so this is body butter the next thing is nail polish remover and for some reason I have a really good feeling about this I think this is gonna work really well I am a bit worried about the purple color of this liquid all of them had a color I was looking for a clear one but there was green and blue and purple so I just went for the regular nail polish also we've got baby oil this is something that I have tried before with color pencil and it has worked but it's been a long time so I thought I'd try it again for this video We've also got hand sanitizer, which is leaking everywhere. Oh no. Our next item, which is something that I'm probably the most intrigued about, is Vaseline. I've seen in the articles they were actually putting the pencil in the Vaseline first and then going in and using that pencil. And finally, I think this is the last thing, is hair gel. And this is one thing that I'm not, you know, super crazy about. I don't think this is going to work particularly well, but I thought it'll be something fun to try. And I know some of these things aren't the most practical things, even if they work to use with colored pencils, like hair gel is something you're probably not going to want to use with your drawings or body butter. But I thought a few little out there things would make it a bit more fun, a bit more interesting. So because we do need to go and test all of these supplies, instead of doing like circles and shading them in or just doing little swatches, I thought it'd be cute to print off some little butterflies and each one we're gonna use different colors and blend using a different type of supply that we've got. So I'm gonna go ahead, I am using some watercolor paper because this is the paper I usually use when I blend with like solvents and stuff. So to give it a fair comparison, I did wanna use the paper that I usually would. And also I decided that I wanted to print something off because I think a lot of people like to do coloring pages and stuff like that with their color pencils. So I thought it'd be important to test how each of these supplies reacts with like ink on the page. And I'm just gonna do a lighter layer of pencil over each one, keep it quite grainy so we can really see the difference our different supplies make. I'm now going in and shading in each butterfly one at a time and whilst I'm doing this I thought I'd give you guys some tips on things to keep in mind if you're using solvents to blend. So for each of these butterflies, as you can see, I am applying a very light layer of colored pencil. And whenever I do this, I don't apply a lot of pressure at all because at the end of the day, we're not trying to burnish our colored pencils, which basically means applying lots of pressure. We're trying to blend with our solvent. So there's no need to really burnish and press hard on your pencil at all. So keep very light pressure. If you were to burnish, then it would prevent you from building up layers once we blend. So keep that pressure as light as possible but also make sure that you're getting decent coverage. One of the biggest problems that I see when people use solvents is that they don't apply enough layers of pigment down onto the paper. So there's actually not enough colored pencil down in the first place to actually blend. So bear those few things in mind when you're actually using solvents and it will really help you when you go to blend. Even the lightest areas still need to have enough pigment down. So if you're blending light areas, then I tend to overlap some layers of white as well. Now that we've prepped all of the butterflies, it's now time for the exciting part. And we're gonna go in with some cotton buds to apply each of our supplies. And I'll also be using tissue to blot off the excess product. One of the main problems with blending using solvents and stuff like that is people use way too much product and then it will bleed and you have that weird oil stain all the way around and you definitely don't want that. 
let's go in first with some olive oil. So I've just put the tiniest little bit into one of those little wells in my palette and I'm just gonna dip my cotton bud into the mixture, into the oil. And like I said, it's so important that we get rid of all of the excess so now let's go in and I'm going to go in with circular motions and just rub this all the way around. It does look like it's actually blending. Obviously none of these things are going to be great if you want to sell your artwork or make sure that it's light fast or archival. But if you're doing little like colouring pages and you just want to blend something quickly and use something around the house then these things could be really good at doing that for you. Look how saturated it makes that yellow look. It's so beautiful. And I don't see any bleeding at all yet. Another reason why I wanted to do a video talking about these sort of alternatives is also because some people react to things like solvent. I know that I find them really strong, especially if you're doing something like coloring and you're trying to relax, maybe you're sitting down watching TV and you wanna just blend something out whilst you're watching telly, you don't really want to make your living room smell like really strong fumes. And let's go in now with our coconut oil. And I'm just dipping it in here, coating it with that coconut oil. Once again, this is making this look so much more saturated. And I haven't got hardly any on my cotton bud and it's really blending out really nicely. Another thing is we need to test how well colored pencil layers over the top of these. So I might do a little test on each of these because it is so important for me if I'm using solvents or anything to blend that I can add other layers on top. I love how this coconut oil and the olive oil has just gotten rid of all of the graininess. It's made it so smooth. There's no need to even go in with a second layer. This has just smoothed everything out so, so much. The next thing that I've got on my cotton bud is the final oil that we're trying and this is the baby oil. And again, I've got a new cotton bird. And let's just go ahead, do the exact same thing. Already I can see that this is a very clear winner as well. It's working just like the other oils did. And I think all of the oils are gonna work in a similar way. I would recommend the coconut oil or the baby oil over the olive oil, just because of the fact that the olive oil has got a little bit of color to it, which can stain a bit more, whereas the coconut oil is clear and so is the baby oil, so you're not gonna have any weird discoloration. The nail polish remover does have quite a strong smell, so you do have to be careful. And so this might not be the best one for you, like I said, if you are sensitive. I am so surprised mostly at how saturated these colors are looking. It doesn't look like this is smudging the line art either. The next thing that we're trying out is the hair gel. I'm taking the tiniest amount on my cotton bud. Oh, it does feel weird when it goes down. I do not have high hopes for this. It is smudging the line art. I also don't like how it feels. It feels really, well, it's gel. So it's just really, really slimy as it goes down. Okay, I'm going in next with the hand sanitizer. And this was another one that I'm really, really hopeful about because of the fact that it's like alcohol. So I thought it was gonna work most like a solvent. And I also feel like this will layer really well, like take layers really well on top. Now let's try out the body lotion. So I've got rid of the excess and let's go in, let's see how this works. Oh, it's definitely different than the others. It takes a bit more work. I'm gonna take a little bit more on my cotton bud. It definitely is blending. It's not making the color as saturated as the other solvents would. I am so surprised. If you'd said to me that you can use a body lotion and body butter and just butter in general to actually blend your colored pencil, I would not have believed you. And the final supply that we're testing is the Vaseline. So I've put a tiny, tiny bit on my cotton bud, but I already feel like I need a little bit more. Some of these things are a little bit of a trial and error learning process. Let's just go ahead and blend all of this out. I don't like the greasiness on top and I also feel like it's not gonna take extra layers very nicely, but if you're just doing one sort of layer, then this could work for you. 
And guys, I am so shook at how well all of these have worked. I cannot believe that every single thing that we've tested has worked. Of course, with some, the line art has smudged, but we wasn't testing to see whether these things smudge line art. It was part of what we were testing, but our test was to see if it blended colored pencil and every single one did. So I've got a little bit of my Zestit pencil blend onto my cotton bird. And you, you can see how quickly this blends everything out. I mean, there is no comparison. This is just so much more superior to the, than all of the others. But the others are so much cheaper. They're on a budget. You don't have to worry about the fumes. And I know this can be quite hard to get your hands on. This is the Zestit Pencil Blend. It is faster. It is a lot better. But actually, I think it's better not because of the results, because I think the results are quite similar. But I think it's just faster. You can see how fast I'm blending this out. It is ridiculously fast. And I've done half of it and I haven't had to go in for any more solvent yet. Layering is so easy with this. It takes extra layers really well. Okay, so now you've heard all of my opinions on the different supplies, but I thought it's always good to get a second opinion. So I've got my fiance over here. Come over, say hi. Mm -hmm. Basically, eight of them have been done with like these supplies over here, you know, hair gel, stuff like that. And one of them has been done using like the solvent stuff. So can you tell which out of these nine is the one that's been done with the proper stuff? <laughs> Um, oh my god, this is the first time you're on my channel. This is like the, the first main time. channel. This is the first time. Hi guys. This is Darby, my fiance. So, um, which has been done with the proper stuff? Firstly, which one do you think looks the best? So I suppose which one do you think the proper one? They're not as bad as I thought. Well, I know. Some, he some thought are bad. I spoke to him about this before and he thought that none of them would work. But they're good, aren't they? They're not they I are mean so... that one's the worst. Yeah. But... That one's the worst. That one's got problems. But you know what? It's only because the line art smudged. It did actually blend, just mm. the line art smudge, but they did work. Which is the best? Which one is the best? The fact that you're taking so long shows I know. that it's... I, it's because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> just, um, just go for first instincts. But the ones that I think look good is that one. Yes. That one. Mm -hmm. And that one. Okay. Those three, those three are my favorite. Yes, they um, are my three favourite as well. So. Oh, that's all right. Hi, hi. Oh, not bad. That's not bad. Yes, yes. Um, and one of them is the one that's been done with the proper stuff. This one. No. Okay. That was one of my favourites and I liked it because that's the coconut oil and it smells incredibly good. Is it that one? Yes. Okay, okay, good. I was going to go for that one. Yeah. But they're all really good, aren't they? Yeah. So now we're going to do the next test and we're going to see which one takes layers of colour pencil on top the best. First up was the oils, the olive oil, baby oil and coconut oil. And adding the white pencil, it didn't really show up too well on these, just like I thought. Because of the fact that they're oils, it kind of just merged into it and slid over everywhere. It didn't really grip onto the white and it wasn't as bright as it is in others later on. So overall, I wasn't too impressed with the oils. I thought it blended really nicely. But as for adding other layers on top, it's not great if you really want your highlights to show up. On the other hand, I absolutely love the nail polish remover. The white showed up so well and it laid really nicely. There wasn't any oily or greasy texture over the top. With the hair gel, the white pencil actually did really show up well and this would have probably been my favorite apart from how bad it did in the first test. And the hand gel did work really well as well. It did grip onto the white pencil, but I didn't think it was as good as the nail polish remover. The body butter just kind of slipped everywhere when I added the white pencil and same with the Vaseline. It didn't really grip onto them. They worked very similarly to the oils. It just didn't really grip on. So overall, my final conclusion is my favorite was the nail polish remover and that is the one we're going to be using now in our final test. I just thought it worked the best. It worked great in our first test and again, it took layers so well. So overall, I thought that was my favorite. Second to that would have probably been the hand gel and that's probably great if you don't want the excess fumes. 
So now let's have a little go and try this out in a proper study. I decided to draw a cat eye and as you can see I'm being very light with my pencil and we're really going to test how well this blends this out and how well it also layers on top and see how realistic we can make this cat eye. And I really did enjoy using the nail polish remover to blend. I thought it was a really nice dupe for like proper solvents and the zest it pencil blend so you've probably got some of this around the house and it really did work well. I am using a mixture of Prismacolor pencils, Polychromos and Luminance for this but you can use any colour pencils and because I used all three I can say that the nail polish remover did work on all three brands I tried so I'm under the understanding that it's going to work on all coloured pencils based on that and yeah at the moment I'm just layering the different colours getting it ready to blend as you can see I'm adding enough pigment everywhere on the actual drawing even on the whites of the eyes you can see that I have layered like light blues and white pencil just to make sure that I've got enough pigment down otherwise it will look grainy if you don't have enough pigment down then you're going to get a grainy look when you use any solvent even the proper you know pencil solvent it's going to be grainy if you don't have enough pigment down and you definitely don't want it to be grainy that's why we're using the solvent in the first place now that we've added our base layer it's time to go in and blend it with our nail polish remover i just used the pipette to put a bit of this into a well of a palette just to make it easier to get onto my cotton bud instead of having to try and dip the cotton bud into the bottle each time and so i just applied the tiniest amount to my cotton bud and i'm just going to do exactly the same thing that i did when we did our butterfly first test and just go in circular motions and keep dipping it into any more nail polish remover if you you notice that it's just not blending anymore you need to pick up some more and I was really happy with how this worked out it didn't make the colors as dark and saturated as my normal solvent would but apart from that it worked exactly the same and it did layer on top so well as you'll see in a minute I also loved that it did darken up the colors and make them look more saturated and it really did remove all of that graininess and give me a really nice foundation base to work with whenever I do any colored pencils studies if I'm using solvent I always make sure that I'm not applying too much detail in the first stage because solvent really does kind of smooth everything out and it does get rid of a lot of that detail and you can really see that when we're adding this second layer when we're adding blacks and those darker colors they're really showing up and they're gripping to that paper really well and it's because that nail polish remover it wasn't like greasy or oily at all so it wasn't just like forming a layer on top of the paper it really just sunk into the paper blended everything nicely and it just dried down so that I could add more colors you can see the white really does stand out I can add little white hairs over the top of the really dark areas and it just was such a good alternative to my usual solvent and I'm really really glad I did this video I found it so much fun to try all of these things and I really genuinely was amazed at how well each of these things worked and it really does go to show that if you can't get your hands on the like the proper things then there's loads of alternatives that you probably didn't realize that are already lying around your house so I'd love it if you guys tried these out and let me know what you think and how you get on with them. Have you tried these things already in the past? If you did like the cat eye that I drew and you want to learn more about drawing, whether that's in colored pencil, using solvent to blend, or any other medium, then I have got loads of real-time tutorials over on my Patreon for just a small amount per month. They're all in real time, all with voiceover, so you can follow along with me. And I do these for portrait tutorials, animal tutorials, using watercolor, color pencil charcoal pastels all of that sort of stuff and you get access to over 200 tutorials when you sign up so i'll leave a link at the top of the description so you can check that out and see even more what my patron has to offer anyway guys that is it for today's video let me know in the comments section out of all of these methods which was your favorite for blending color pencils and have you tried any others that you think i should try out that you really like if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here and tick that bell icon so that you do get notified on all of my future tip and tutorial videos but i'll see you guys in the next one bye everybody